Good evening, I'm William Edson with Primetime News tonight. Our story brings us live to our field reporter, Elizabeth Bennett. Elizabeth. Thank you, William. I'm here on the western edge of Wessex Chalk, England, on the anniversary of Starhead Park's creation. Excuse me, sir, what do you know about Starhead? Well... Starhead Park is a landscape that has become a cultural beauty and an amazement that has withstood the test of time. Proclaimed as a vision of Whiggish progress, parliamentarianism, and humanism, Starhead provides for an experience through many era in architectural gardens. Starhead Park was founded and designed by Henry Hoare II, with assistance from Henry Flickholt, a well-known architect of the times. The park resides in the lush lands west of Wessex Chalks Downs, bordering Wiltshire. The first phase of construction is said to have started in 1744, with Henry Flickcroft's design of the Temple Flora and the Paradise Well. The grotto, another feature of Starhead, was dedicated to Aeneas. Claude Lorraine's painting, Aeneas at Delos, was a key to the grotto's design. In 1751, construction of the park stopped and Hoare II would have a dam built over a river in 1754 to transform it into a central lake for the landscape. 1755 would resume construction with the building of the Pantheleum, first named the Temple of Hercules, a name I personally enjoy, as it is sculpted after myself. <clears throat> its completion in 1757 would mark the next phase of the construction, the Temple of Apollo would be the next addition in 1765, completing the expansion of Starhead. His grandson, Richard Colt Hoare, inherited the estate in 1785, modifying the already completed park. Modifications that would change Hoare's original design into a much more clustered, clouded design. Starhead Garden exemplified a yearning for Virgilian Arcadi characterized by neoclassical buildings set in a naturalistic landscape. Hoare the second designed the garden to be a narrative, rendering the tale of Aeneas in the underworld in a method that was architectural and sylvan. In this way, Sarhad has been marked as a lasting testament to the world of architecture. Thank you, Elizabeth. When we return, do we prefer tea or coffee? The obvious answer is tea. We'll find out when we come back.